Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. I'm Nick the Pond King, and this is our channel, Nick the Pond King, on YouTube, where we're trying to show you that water features are fun everywhere. Starting right here in Golden Valley, Minnesota, we're going to do an awesome tear out and rebuild of a koi pond. It's going to be very cool. It's going to be very interactive, making you want to come to the edge, interact with the fish. It's going to be really cool. We're going to have a lot of current, so we're going to get some huge fish in this, and it's just going to be a fun build. Let's go look at the old one and why they weren't quite satisfied and why they gave us a call. they didn't like was that the stream was a little underwhelming you know looking at it, it it definitely can see like it's a little narrow edges are looking like you know maybe a little low spots here or there or backed up the flow rate could definitely be compromised there's no real drop into the pond so the overlap could have a leak skimmer is kind of exposed over time like you know that's okay with the the plant spreading but one of the ways we fight those plants from spreading to different spots where we don't want them to go to is by putting in the larger boulder so you can see the boulder work here is rather small and that's great for us because we're going to be reusing a lot of that small stuff for different things uh whatever is not stained we'll be able to save so i think we're going to be able to fit most of this into the dumpster here i think we're in a good spot end of day one on project number 19 we got the tear out done goal completed we got everything into the dumpster that's what the goal was for the day that's about it for now we'll talk to you guys later thank you have a good weekend we'll talk soon Good morning everyone, it's Monday morning. We are on project number 19. It is a very windy day, but it's gonna be beautiful. Winter is staying off so far, thank you winter. Right now the guys are helping us find where our power line is, because we had that power line come right through. So we have to figure out where that guy is, because we've got a lot of hand digging to do. Justin's here with his metal detector. You remember that from, uh, oh gosh, what was it, project number five last year, or six, or? Horseshoe pond. Horseshoe pond. Good afternoon everyone, it's the start of day three. Day three, uh, right now we're just working on digging out the pond. This is our final tier, it'll be about three feet deep. So we've got some cool tiering going on. We've got a lot of hand shaping to do. As you can probably guess, there are a lot of roots in the area uh, that we are having to deal with. Brad's got the uh, trusty old sawzall there. We've got some stumps we got pulled out. That was pretty fun. Got another area of, uh, we just got different areas all over of just junk that we're gonna have to get rid of. And that's kind of how this goes. All right, 
so we got our four inch line, or I should say the trench for our four inch line dug. The four inch pipes, perforated line running all along here and it's ready for gravel in the morning. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. this whole pond is three feet deep. Once we have our whole tier dug out, we have to dig in our hydrostatic relief. That goes underneath the whole pond. The nice thing of using this hard PVC is if there ever was a reason that you do need to drain a bubble out that it just isn't coming out from the hydrostatic relief, you'll be able to put a piping down in there and you'll be able to suck it out with a two-way pump. And that's how we like to, we kind of over-engineer things. That's something we really believe in is having backups to back up. gravel in, burrito wrapped it, we got a bunch covered up over there. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wrap this with fabric all the way up. Since we don't have to worry about water coming in to the system from any outside sources, this is just to relieve any water that would be underneath the pond. You can cover it with a thing of fabric like this so no dirt gets in there. That's just again, we're all thinking longevity. You know, we want this to be here for 50 years. So if there is all of a sudden a big flooding problem or an issue, we've already planned for it. update time things are going well have i told you guys i love my team lately <laughs> i know i have but just to tell you again i love my team i'm grateful for these guys as we're digging out and working on the hydrostatic relief pressure valve justin goes hey nick aren't we putting in some stairs in case someone falls in because they have some younger kids and it's a koi pond and it's going to be right here and he i was like you're absolutely right we are going to do that so he came in with the mini excavator into the pond dug out a spot so that we can put class five down underneath our liner. end of the day well we got a lot done today we started rocking in the pond we got our fish tunnel in so we'll have to rock that in we got some big guys in some real big ones in over here it's gonna be a cool spot to come and stand we got a destination bowl there that we're gonna put right in that cubby cubby right there because that's gonna be a cool spot to feed your fish things are going really good so anything you want to add no no all right there we go there you have it we are on the start of day number five. Good morning, everyone. Basically today we're trying to rock in as much of this pond as we can. We're gonna use some of those humongous boulders and we're gonna set it up so that this pond is just about full. a bad idea. Red Bull for that midday lull. I'm Nick the Pond King telling you enjoy a Red Bull. Periodically, not every day, not too many times a day. Read the disclaimers, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I was breathing in at the... <laughs> Alright, thank you Brad. That court.
five, we have gotten a lot done. We got a cool nook here. We're gonna get ourselves a jet going in there. We got some really cool rock work going. This is intentionally supposed to be a shoreline style feel to it to really open up this deep area. We got our staircase, nice steps up there. Take you right out. Gonna do our intake bay there. Got some cool boulder work to do over here. So things are going well. We're gonna just keep at it. So that's gonna do it for the day. Stay tuned, We're gonna got, we got more to show you. I think that's gonna do it for the end of part one. I'll babble and keep on going. So I'm gonna call it a day. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you everyone. Sponsored by Pond King Water Gardens, living works of art, one yard at a time.